Hello, Shamaz Nemet. What in the yachts? I didn't realize it before, but how did you learn to speak Agasork so fast? Wait, is that a Shamazar accent I'm hearing? Really? I think the Yachts did something to me when I delivered their message to the Almael. Oh, I see. Praise them. Be careful, Ulukai. Activating the Daokas has caught the invaders' attention. So, where is that Daramon of yours? And how can I score it quick? Amiya's Daramon doesn't exist yet. The chief of the village creates a Daramon as a token of gratitude. Speak to my fellow Talans, and they will tell you how you can help them. If you're a good friend to Amiya, it's Daramon you shall receive. Good luck with that, so, though. Yeah. How to make friends on alien worlds. I must have left that book on the shelf. I'll try my luck here and in other places I come across, too. Can you heal me? Brace yourself. The odds guide my hands. Take care, Nemet. Hey there, uh, can we talk? Greetings, stranger. My name is Moore. Have you come to register? Register? For what, exactly? You know what? Forget it. I can tell by your hands you're not capable of working here. You're that Ulakai, are you not? You'd think the odds would bestow you with better hands. Um, what's wrong with them? Too many fingers for you? <laughs> your hands are perfect for sewing tunics, and baking grease cakes for the conversion ceremony. Now go, we do real work in the treetops. Where can I find Doc? He usually hangs around the shops. The merchants trick him into buying useless junk like clunky diving equipment and other things that never work. Or you can look for him at his father's cabin by the lake, northwest from here. He is probably exploring those lakes like his father before him. Not swimming, that's for sure. He'd refer to himself in a bucket of water. I don't know what he does. Some secret project. He should be up here, gathering armfuls of morags for the next convoy. I just wonder what kind of job would require big... I mean, strong fingers like yours. I guess it's your first time in Amiya. On these trees, we cultivate the most delicious morags on Adelphi. My name is Moore. I am the Grand Foreman of the Harvester Union. Oh, really? Grand Foreman? Sounds important. Harvesters are more than simple farmers. The best morags grow close to the moons, on the tops of the highest trees. Very dangerous to gather. Only young, vigorous Talans can reach them. In my early moons, I would dance across the branches without fear. But now, the heights make me dizzy. So I took on new responsibilities. I gotta go now. Yes, you do. Funny stranger. More funny business? Morag fruit, they taste good? My citizens eat nothing else. The morag nourishes, moisturizes, purifies our essence. The lands from every corner of Adelpha used to come here and pay many Zorkins for its unique taste. You're making me hungry, Chief. Where can I get some? You can have your fill if you climb to the top of a tree. But don't let Grand Foreman Moore see you stealing one. He's far less accommodating than me. What's Moore's problem? 
More is a retired harvester from the treetops who dreams of becoming chief. But treetops people are simple people. One needs a certain downbringing to lead. Downbringing? You mean upbringing, right? I mean class and dignity. Only citizens of the ground have good social standing. The treetops are for uneducated people, rude people. One cannot learn class, especially someone like Moore. Always a pleasure to see you leave. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So the lower class is at the top, and you have to work your ass off to the bottom to access the upper society. Weird logic. Where I'm from, the top is prime real estate. Only the less fortunate Talans live in the treetops. The young ones dream of climbing down the ladder of our society, just like I did. Your social logic is really upside down. Who wants to be down on the ground? The view's amazing up there. Views don't pay, Ulukai. More rags pay. If I don't find harvesters, the citizens of Emiya will be eating Reese for every meal, and that idiot Hatso will blame me for the recession. He'll toss me back up to the treetops. I'll be forced to watch sunsets from a wooden terrace instead of cleaning the dirt between my toes. A nightmare. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I wish I could help ease your pain. You could help me sooner than you think. Have you met Doc? He's a simple-minded lad. A big fan of the Ulakai fairy tale. A dreamer, but a damn good club. Hey, I like fairy tales. Or some of them, at least. Doc was my best worker. Unaware of his essence, he could climb higher than anyone. I had great hopes for him. What happened? Cosmere happened. Cosmere was Doc's father. Good for nothing slack if he fancied himself a treasure hunter. But he never found his treasure, so he never climbed down. He reverted himself in the lake searching for yard knows what. Now Doc has caught his father's madness. He left the treetops to become the new fool in town. A fool who believes in me. I mean, who believes in Ulukai. Sounds like a great guy. Doc has been spending all his hard-earned Zorkins on a secret project, taken straight out of the children's story. He refuses to return to work. But an Ulukai like you can succeed where I failed. Could you convince him to embrace his essence and fulfill his destiny in the treetops? Time to go. Buy more. Hi there. Ah, funny stranger. More funny business? I wish I could stay longer, but... You have to go? Good. Bang bang. I don't see many Talans packing heat around here. Nice bow. Thank you. I am a son, protector of Emiya. Who are you? Cutter Slade, aka the Ulakai, or so I'm told. This place seems peaceful enough. Get much protecting done? 
Well, you never know when a coming eye will strike. When it does, I'll be ready for it. On my way, then. Let's hunt coming eye together sometime. Well, what happened? <laughs> Gork away! I don't want to gork you! Okay. Why don't you just tell me how you got here? Maybe I can help. <laughs> the gork can gork itself! This gork you keep mentioning, I want to know more about it. <sighs> what are you gorking about? There's nothing more to know about gork! Why in a gork don't you bring me more gork? Yeah. I can gork you many zorkins in return, but bring me gork! I wouldn't know where to look, my friend. <laughs> Find gork here and there, look! But you will have to gork the rest by yourself. You're in jail. I don't want your dirty zorkins. Who knows where they're coming from? My zorkins are not gork. The Gork was digging for precious treasure outside of Emea before becoming the Gork. And I darked it, found many, many Zorkins, but also Gork. So you caught that disease from digging in the ground for treasure, huh? And now you want to trade? That's what I'm gorking about. And bring me Gork, and I will Gork you Zorkins, many Zorkins. At least I know where to find you. Hey, Azan. You got a minute? What is it? What can you tell me about the Gork? I should have shot an arrow through that monster on the very moon he jumped at me. But I missed. Well, something must have happened to him. He's still at Talan. On my way. See you, Azan. Free up some space first. Space, maybe our news can help you. Ulkai, are you hearing me? Always. Emerheed, one of my Dolotai guardians, came across an ancient altar. Can you take a look? Marking its position on the map. Yeah, sure. If you think it's important. Thank you, Ulakai. I think it's connected to the Essence Shrine nearby. I found similar altars before, but never figured out how the ancients were using them or why. Say no more. You got me intrigued. Ulakai, if Emerheath's intel is right, there should be an ancient altar close to your location. Can you find it? Ancient altar? Sure. I'll have a look. Slate out.
Gotta love that blue helidium. Hey, Emmerheed. How are you? Not too bad, Ulukai. Always busy researching ancient mysteries. All right. See you next time, Emmerheed. What do you think about the Gork? If I had more time to think, I would put these thoughts into the harvest and certainly not waste my time with the Gork. It's an anomaly. That thing shouldn't exist, and it belongs in the cage like the rest of the monsters. Okay, I feel no love for the Gork. None. Poor thing. Time to go. Bye, more. Hello, Shamaz Nemet. You returned. I spoke with the Gork. You know anything about him? All I know is that the Gork doesn't sleep, eat, nor drink. The Gork is just... the Gork. Very enlightening, thank you. Take care, Nemet. Should be a theme park ride. Hi. 
What is happening here? Oh my god! I can't believe it! Did the Yod send you to meet with Doc? I wish I knew. The Yods are being a bit vague with me. Who's Doc? I am Doc! Search no more! This is the place! Your old man around? Kind of. He reverted at the bottom of this lake. I tried to save him, but I can't swim and almost got reverted myself. I'm so afraid of the water. Sorry to hear that. You should learn to swim, and practice makes, you know, perfect. The place. What are you doing here? <sighs> Surely the ambassador of the Yods would know. I'm following my father's quest, of course. I wanted to pick up where Cosmere left off, so I quit my job in the treetops and spent all my Zorkins on a diving suit that doesn't really work. You're joining my quest then? Well, that depends. Um, are you taking no for an answer? Sounds like a yes! Come, much work to be done. As my father used to say, practice makes perfect. Why would you build your cabin by a lake if you can't swim? The Yods laugh at me because I was denied a proper conversion ceremony. They test me again and again with water, but there's no way I'm an Aloy to land. I hate water. Father hated it too. But I will have the last laugh. I will achieve my destiny. What destiny would that be? Well, the ancients marked a nearby rock for my father to discover millions of moons later. The engraved stone foretold his only son would find an artifact in a lake. An artifact that would save Amiya from extinction. He tried to claim it for me, but water scares me even more now. Can I have a look at the rock you're talking about? My father showed it to so many people. He even made me memorize it in case it was destroyed. No one believed us. Who trusts prophecies anymore, right? Well, speaking of prophecies, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Ulukai. Oh my yods! Of course! My father told me everything about the savior of Adelpha. It's you? That's what Liaz seems to think. I don't remember much of my past. The yods have planned our encounter. I will show you the engravings, Ulukai. Together, we can save Amiya on your way to saving Adelpha. Sure. Who am I to go against that level of enthusiasm? What is this relic you're looking for? That is not exactly clear to me, but Casimir told me it would save my village from the invaders, if the engravings are right. So it's a weapon. You're the Ulukai. You tell me. No bother. I trust the Yods in their great design. We must make haste, though. Amiya is in danger, and Hatso, our leader, can't protect us. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait! I see you're full of talents, Ulukai. I'm sure you didn't call to flatter me, Liaz, so... What do you want? To humbly offer you a token of the Dolotai Guardian's gratitude. I've marked a position on your map. It's a surprise. A mystery prize? You definitely know how to push my buttons, Liaz. I can't wait to look this up. Slate out. Hey, Doc. Here you are, partner. Show me the engraved stone. Follow me. Here it is. Hold on. What's the matter? You go ahead. 
I'm not worthy to face my father's hazardous yet. What is this? Don't touch it! It's ancient magic! What the... chalk? Ulukai? Are you alright? Um, Dak, <laughs> you should come and have a look at this. God almighty! You touched it! What have you done? Casimir always forbid me to... Oh... Unless the ancients were into childish doodles, I think your dad was having a bit of fun with you. It's all... It's very confusing. When was the last time you came here? I was young and naive. There is no artifact. No adventure. I have ruined my life for a false prophecy. Sometimes memories play tricks on us. You know, we see what we want to see. He lied to me. Filled my head with fairy tales. I am so stupid. I should plan my reversion now. Get it over with! Look, Casimir might have elaborated on his story to make it a bit more entertaining. Kids get easily bored, There's you know. nothing in the lakes. Pretending there is won't honor my father's memory or mine. Wait a minute. Your dad didn't draw everything on this rock. There are ancient symbols here, see? I see what you're doing, but Hatso is right. I have to grow up. Have a look for yourself. See those shapes there? I think I know what they are. An X marks the spot. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! You're right, Ulukai! It's a map of the lakes, and there must be something in that one. We're so close! I can feel it, partner. We're partners! Partners? Hold your horses, Doc. I was happy to help, but I have my own agenda, you know. I am so excited! You have to dive into the lake, Ulukai. You have to save Amiya! Are you even listening to what I just- Save me at the lake! People will write songs about this day! Let's go!
Blitz. Why is that plant glowing? Ready for a challenge, Uzakai? I was born ready. Only quoting someone else here, but I'm ready now. For what exactly? Follow the trail of plants that starts here. It should lead you to a special reward. If you're as skilled as you pretend to be, there will be more pleasant surprises. I will keep my eyes peeled then. Leave your eyes alone. should open that plant. <sighs> Better do we ask. I didn't follow that trail for nothing, right? What was that about? Orem trails. Talk to Beasel. I heard he's quite the expert. I'm marking his last known location on your map. Thanks for the tip. Slate out. Hey, Emmerheat. How are you? Not too bad, Ulukai. 
always busy researching ancient mysteries. All right. See you next time, Emerheed. Hi there. Got some questions. Yes? Do you know anything about Amea? Amea is a forest village famous for its Morags. It's located in the southwest of Ganzar. From what I know, it's still a place of peace. Do you know anything about Procriana? Procriana was the capital of Adelpha, and its most important center of knowledge. Famous for its scholars, recreators, and researchers. That's in the past. It was attacked by the invaders many moons ago, and most citizens ran away, fearing further reprisals. It's located in the northwest of Gonzo. See you around. Come back anytime. Hi. Can you help me? I can try. Do you know anything about Procriana? Procriana was the capital of Adelpha, and its most important center of knowledge. Famous for its scholars, recreators, and researchers. But that's in the past. It was attacked by the invaders many moons ago, and most citizens ran away, fearing further reprisals. It's located in the northwest of Ganzar. Do you know anything about Amiya? Amiya is a forest village famous for its morags. It's located in the southwest of Ganzar. From what I know, it's still a place of peace. See you around. Come back anytime. where we met. What is it? You mean the Ganda Temple? On this side of Adelpha, you'll find one temple for each of the four essences. They're the oldest structures on the planet, and the Talans didn't build them. Who did then? No one really knows. We believe the ancients left them behind, just like the Daokas. Daokas and temples shared the same architecture. And they are connected to the Yod's realm in ways we don't fully comprehend. So who does comprehend, then? Essences have a strong presence in the temples. Talons from all over Adelpha used to visit them before the creation of Palana. Anatok was the first master of ceremonies who built Palana way before my cycles. He told his contemporary Darusham keepers that he had found a way to contact the ancients. It is said that soon after he made this claim, he disappeared one moon, and never returned. These scrolls were lost with the destruction of the Dano Library in Procriana. Did you get a chance to read the scrolls before they got lost? No, but Zokrim told Jan what the scrolls said, and Jan told me. So one moon, I hope I can tell my own daughter. Dolotai Guardians are the protectors of Adelpha, which means we are also the guardians of its oldest legends and traditions.
should have stretched.
you picked the wrong target, Bird. Another glowing flower. Slash should open that plant.
Hawkeye, watch out. You're approaching a Gork eruption. Do you see it? A, a what now? You don't get these kind of calls sitting behind a desk, I'm telling you. Gork has been erupting from the depths of Adelpha. It started with the invasion. Yon saw it as some kind of natural defense mechanism triggered by the planet to fight our enemies. But Gork can infect animals and turn them berserk. So please be careful. Okay, I'll put a cork in that. Gork. It's laid out. <sighs> the more disgusting, the more rewarding. I should head to Amiya with that gork I found. That's wonderful, and just in time. The gork eruptions infected Atalan. Chief Hatso had to cage him because of his erratic behavior. You should check on him. Can't say I'm looking forward to it, but I will. Slate out. that
They're coming for me. Gore corruption. Ugh, it stinks like giant rock. Disgusting, the more rewarding. This plant shouldn't be far away. Slice this puppy open. See what's inside.
Good. This plant shouldn't be far away. They're coming. Ah, they spotted me. Thank <laughs> you. 
That must be the essence shrine Lee has told me about. to describe it to you. I see where you are. One of the essence shrines. You're inside it? Yup. Praise the yachts. We knew essence shrines were important, but never found a way to enter them. I can't wait to tell Emerheed about it. It looks like the ancients left us a treat. Sweet. There are more essence shrines throughout Adelpha. If you unlock this one, I bet you could unlock them all. Talk to Emerheed at the Dolotai camp if you want to know more. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Lias. Slay out. You're coming with me, plant. Another Gorg eruption. Hold your breath. Crackets.
alien plants I have to find. Flash open that chest of the plant, or whatever.
one lousy tin can zero. <laughs> Disagree with our general's leadership. And that's supposed to make me instantly trust you. What's your name, soldier? How about I remain anonymous and offer you a much better weapon as a gesture of goodwill? If you're trying to buy me, add a foot massage. My boots are killing me. That's sarcasm you can't fake. Commander Cutter Slade. It's really you. In the flesh. Am I famous or something? Unbelievable. This is a game changer. I... I'll be in touch. Hey, hold on. If you know me, you might know my daughter. Her name's Camilla. Tell her I'm coming home soon. I'm... sorry. I can't get involved in your family affairs. Find the gear at the coordinates I'm sending you. I deactivated the security system so you can enter the facility. But be quick. I don't know how long it will last. Signing off. Fine, I'll do it. At least tell me how Camilla's doing. Hello? How hard is it to answer a simple question? Nice. stashed it there before I... It's for you. Here. The necklace! It glows! It's an amulet. Made out of one of the magic stones they have on Adelpha. Mom got one too? It must look so good on her. Listen, Camilla. I have to tell you something. You'll have to be strong, baby girl.
That's the amulet Lias was looking for when we met. Guess I had it after all. Before I gave it to Camilla. the official plan, we asked. Listen, I figured that the Daramons are one thing, yes, but if I'm gonna seek support in every village, I'd rather use the help of your fellow Telhans to destroy the invaders' bases one by one. But I thought the message from the Yods was about procreation and protection. Am I missing something? Come on, Lias. If you left Kizar, it's because you know the Almael are disconnected from reality. They don't understand who they're up against. Not like the Dolotai Guardians do. I know. Don't get me wrong. I know Okastok and the Spear are important for your culture, and I respect that, but the priority is to get the invaders off your world so Talans are safe and the Yods can send me home. You're right, Ulokai. I'm sure every village has something to offer in the uprising against the invaders. You just have to figure out what. Pian would be so proud of what we are doing for Adelpha. Trust me, there's only one language the enemy speaks, and we're gonna shout it until their ears are ringing from our attacks. Slate out. Hi there. Ah, funny stranger. More funny business? What's so special about this place? You don't smell it? Emir's delightful fragrance. It's famous throughout Adelpha. This land enchants the senses. We also have the sweet morag fruit and an even sweeter sense of diplomacy, no matter how bitter the circumstances. I had a look at the rock outside the village, the one with the engravings. Here comes the prophecy. We believe it points to a relic at the bottom of the lake, but we're not sure. Don't waste my time. There is no artifact. Nothing is in those lakes. Always a pleasure to see you leave. I'm full. Gandali Pot. Maybe you have something to take care of the Gork's bad skin condition? You know, like a bomb or... I tried everything with the Gork, trust me. He's a Gandali Pot nightmare. Last time I came to see him, he nearly bit my fingers off. Cutter Slade, and you are? You don't know. I am Zotil, the most spectacular weaver in all of Emia. And most humble. Love 
The shirt. Where did you get it? Uh, thanks. It's a limited edition. Let me know if you're willing to sell it to me. There's somewhere I have to be. See you. What's up, Zatil? Hey! Who are you again? Hello, Zotil. I'm only the most fantastic weaver in all of Emea. Good meeting you, Satil. Stay gold, Cutter Slade. Blue Halidium. Can't get enough of that stuff. I should free up some space first. Guess your dad wasn't the nut job people say he was. Here's your artifact. I only wish he could see this. It's... it's so... I have no clue what this is. That makes two of us, but hey, it levitates. That's a start. Not sure how we can use this to fight the invaders, but let's find out together. Your destiny weaves into mine, Ulukai. My father would have been proud. Has Mira mentioned an instruction manual or anything? 
No. He kept repeating this would help our people. He wanted to convince Hatso. Hatso should see this! Okay. I'm gonna push this thing to Amiya. Thank you, Ulukai. For everything. The light at the engraved rock. You really think it's your father's spirit? What's a spirit? It's Cosmere's Hazardous. He reverted before he could accomplish his destiny, so his Hazardous lingers here, unable to journey to Palana until we finish what he started. Cosmere has to find peace before he reunites with the odds. Why is Emiya in danger? Our leader, Hatso, believes he can negotiate with the invaders and spare our village from their tyranny. But I see through his lies. He's been encouraging young Talans to seek job opportunities up north, but they never come back. I heard the invaders capture them into Sun and use them for slave labor. Sounds more like trading than negotiating. This won't end well. Wise words, Ulukai. But let's not dwell on the bad. Focus on the good, like Father said. A great treasure is awaiting the explorers. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait. Close. Make room, my friends! I have a clear shot! Hey! Robin Hood, lower the bow, okay? I don't take orders from you! Fair enough. <laughs> Everybody, calm down! This dirty piece of trash smells terrible. Why have you brought this here, stranger? I command you to dump it back where you found it, at once. Hatso, listen to me. Doc, I... We found the relic Casimir was looking for. Of course, you are behind this, you babbling simpleton. This is going to save the village from the invaders, just like the ancients predicted. Nonsense. Do you want to get us all reverted? What? No. There is nothing to see here. Disperse before the invaders spot our gathering from the sky. Your, 
Jo sajāts, kāds ir bārs zarukāji? You and your magic treasure are the talk of the town, Doc. I don't like this. I feel their suspicions. I hope the artifact is safe here. There are a lot of people in Amiya. You think someone would know what this thing is? No one knows. It's too... Wait! Nemet! He's the oldest Talon in town! He has read many scrolls, even some of the most ancient ones. Maybe he has a clue. Could you please talk to him? I have to stay here and guard the artifact. People are getting too curious, especially Azan. So, what about the Gork? I am puzzled about him. It's a disease I've never seen before. I don't know how I can help him. He keeps asking about Gork, but even if I knew what that was, I wouldn't give it to him. It doesn't sound good. I hear that. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait! Hello, Shamaz Nemet. You returned. Can I ask how old you are? Older than a fresh hoti, and younger than a fey tree. You are the master of being vague. I'm the master of controlling my emotions. Expect anger and rage next time you ask a male to learn that question. Didn't mean to offend you, Nemet. The reason I ask is this thing we dredged up from the lake, it seems really old. Like, ancient. I thought a guy with your experience uh, came across it in a scroll or something. Hmm. I recall no description of such an object. And I've read my fair share of scrolls, both mundane and sensational. The item looks like it's from a pre-Talan era. Where can I find informative scrolls? Maybe Doc can read them to me. Doc wouldn't know where to start. Most treetop inhabitants can't read, except maybe for more who took late classes. Your best chance would be to ask a scholar at the Dano Library. Yeah, I think I lost my library card. Can I borrow yours? Ah. A joke. Was it funny? Forgive me for not laughing. Humor harms the purity of the essence. Where is the Dano Library? Good question. Does it still exist? Was the Dano Library totally destroyed with the bombing of Procreana? Or does Justice Sliver still remain? You should go and find out. Were all the scholars, uh, reverted to? There must be survivors. I heard the assistant of the head librarian dodged a reversion the day the invaders unleashed their wrath upon Procreana. If he's alive, he must be very, very old. Sounds like I should find him soon, then. Who is he? His name is Kureg. His ears were already shot when I was borrowing scrolls in my young age. I can't imagine the bombs helped his hearing. He might be the best hope to understand your artifact. He spent his whole life studying old scrolls that are now lost forever. Kureg, huh? I'll try to find him. Thanks, Nemet. I would say good luck, stranger, but you make your own luck. Remember that. Yes, have you heard about this Kureg guy? I was about to call you Ulakai. I made a strange discovery. And since you have to go to Procreana, I'm activating a Daoka so we can talk face to face. All right. Oh, jumping in the first Daoka now. Let's meet. You and your magic treasure are the talk of the town, Doc. I don't like this. I feel their suspicions. I hope the artifact is safe here. I need to visit Procreana. There's an old scholar there named Kureg. He could tell us what this thing is. I'll be waiting here, despite Hatso's efforts. He is so afraid the invaders will spot the artifact from the sky and shoot at it. We're getting closer, Ulukai. Don't you feel it? I'm not sure I even want to feel it, but we got to see this through. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait.